Hello everyone, this is Gary and today we're doing another travel video. Now, as with all my travel videos, this is somewhere that I have visited and I thought it was well worth doing this video because I thought it was well worth a visit and I would recommend that if you're in the area or you're planning a holiday in this area, that it is well worth thinking about going to this place as well. Now, you will find in this video some background, some history, some information about the place, and much of the detail of what I have uh, uh, been saying in this video will also appear in the description box if you want to have a look, as well as some links to some other travel videos that may be uh, relevant and worth uh, considering. You'll also find in the background, as I'm telling you about the place, uh, some pictures uh, to show you what's involved, what it looks like, and to help inform that decision, as I said, as to whether you make a visit as well. Or if you're just generally interested in this place, well, again, this video uh, is for you, I hope. But really, there's not much more for me to say other than let's just get into it. Okay, so here we are at Chepstow Castle. Now, this magnificent castle is sitting on the top of a cliff, and in terms of history, it goes back well over 600 years. It's said to be beautifully preserved, and it stretches along a limestone cliff above the River Wye. Now, Chepstow Castle at Chepstow, Monmouthshire, is said to be one of the oldest surviving post-Roman stone fortifications in Britain. As I have said, it's located above the cliffs on the River Wye and construction on the castle began in about 1067 at the instruction of the Norman uh, Lord William Fit Osborne. Now, Lord William Fit Osborne was uh, also a close friend of William the Conqueror, which is why the castle is uh, treated as one of the first Norman strongholds in Wales. In those days, the uh, magnates and power brokers were constantly on the move and Chepstow was just one place uh, and one residence in their huge estates. It was an impressive shell into which they would bring their gold and their silver vessels, uh, their silk and their brightly painted uh, furniture. During the 12th century, the castle was used in the conquest of Gwent, the first independent Welsh kingdom to be conquered by the Normans. And then it was held by two of the most powerful Anglo-Norman magnates of uh, the medieval uh, English period, uh, William Marshall and Richard de Clare. By about the 16th century, its military importance had waned somewhat, and part of its structure were then uh, converted into a, a domestic range. Although it was uh, re-garrisoned during and after the English Civil War, by about the 1700s it had fallen into decay. Thankfully, with the later growth of tourism, the castle became a popular visitor destination and the ruins were Grade 1 listed at 6 December 1950. Now, the property is under the control and management of CADU, C-A-D-W, who do an absolutely brilliant job of both keeping it in good condition and available uh, for uh, visitors uh, to find out all about it. As I've said before, it is well worth a visit. Okay, so that was just a short summary a short travel video about the place. Obviously, there is way more that you can find out and discover if you go there yourself or if you do some research as I have done, but I hope that it will give you a little bit of a background, a little bit of information, um, which will enable you to have a look further if you're interested in going to this place. Now, if you like this video, please mark it as a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, well then please subscribe. And apart from that, there's nothing really left to say except thank you very much for watching this video. And bye for now.